Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make lasagna in your crock pot without any of the work. Today on the Eating on a Dime show, we're making crock pot lazy day lasagna. And the reason I call it lazy is because I have a secret tip. We actually use ravioli in the recipe. So that way we don't have to boil noodles we don't have to spread out ricotta cheese because the ravioli has all the delicious cheese inside it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and your crock pot's gonna do all the work. So finally, you can have lasagna in the middle of winter or even in the summer because we don't have to heat up our kitchen. So let me know below if you want the link for the recipe. The link is in the description below or you can always go to eatingonadime.com and search Lazy Day Lasagna. We have a crock pot version and a baked version for you. Okay, so let me get started. What I have already in this pot is I browned up a pound of ground beef. We browned it and then we drained it. A couple options that I can give you right now is you can do sausage. We've done that before and it is delicious. You can also do ground turkey. Ground turkey is a great way to lower the fat. Um, lower the cost, but nobody's really gonna know that it's ground turkey because we have all these delicious flavors throughout the recipe. So that's already done. So now I'm making my sauce. So we're going to stir in our garlic salt, Italian seasoning, and three cans of crushed tomatoes. There we go. So three cans. So we're making a delicious meat sauce. I'm gonna mix this up. If you are watching me right now, let me know what do you like with your lasagna. We love garlic bread and on eatingonadime.com, you can search garlic bread. We have a delicious recipe that you could serve alongside this. It's the best garlic bread ever. Okay, so done. See how easy that was? A delicious meat sauce. I don't even have to heat it up on the stove because the crock pot's gonna do all the work. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Let me scoot this over a little bit. Okay, so now all we have to do is layer. So I have mozzarella cheese. Now the mozzarella cheese, we hand shredded it. So what that means is we bought the block and then we shredded it by hand. And the reason that we do that is because Mox, um, any kind you, anytime you buy a pre-shredded cheese, it's not going to melt as pretty if it's pre-shredded. But if you buy the block and then you hand shred it, you're gonna get that delicious cheesy meltedness that you're used to when you go to like an Italian restaurant. Okay, and then, like I said before, we're not using lasagna noodles because this is lazy day lasagna. We're cheating. It's a cheat that you're gonna be proud of and we're using frozen raviolis. So these are cheese raviolis. So you're, they're, de, they're delicious pasta. And inside is that delicious cheese from the flavors that you're gonna want in your lasagna. Okay, so I'm using a six quart crock pot. Super simple, super easy to do. We're gonna start with a little bit of sauce on the bottom. <laughs> Just spreading it out. There we go. Can you kind of see it? Woo. Okay, then we're gonna place a layer. I'm gonna see how many times I layer this. Do all the meat sauce on. Okay, so we're gonna place a layer of ravioli on the bottom. So you're just laying out. Do you see how much faster this is than having to boil noodles and having to spread out ricotta cheese? Okay. Now that that's done, we're gonna do a layer of cheese, mozzarella cheese, delicious. And then we're gonna do meat sauce. I'm gonna get this a little closer. I don't wanna make a mess. Spooning that right over. See how easy this is, guys? The best part about it is you just, when you're finished, you just put the lid on and you walk away and your crock pot's gonna do all the work for you. 
Okay, now we're going to continue layering. So we're gonna start off with our ravioli. We're gonna do some cheese. Dun, dun, dun. A little bit more. Can't skip on the cheese, guys. Then sauce. We're almost done. See how fast and simple this is? I mean, I just need enough sauce to go on the top. And we're going to do the last layer. So I'm doing about three layers. You do you boo. Now, if you're needing this to be gluten-free, guess what? If you go to your local grocery store, you can actually find gluten-free raviolis. Um, we've actually made them before. They, The last time I checked, they were round instead of square, but they're still really, really good. And we've made this recipe with them. So I'm going to show you what it looks like inside it with the ravioli just laying there. See, that's all I'm doing is just making a pretty layer of the raviolis. Then we're going to do a little bit of mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to do a little bit because I'm going to have another layer of that in a minute. Final topping of the sauce, and we get all that good sauce out of here. Ooh. Okay, spreading it out nice and pretty. And then we're gonna finish it off with cheese. Just like you would in a traditional lasagna, we're gonna top it with mozzarella cheese and then Parmesan cheese. So we get that delicious flavor at the very, very top. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. So I know it's kind of hard to see, friends. Oh, there we go. See, we have our sauce. Now we're going to cover it in mozzarella cheese. Done. Friends, if you need the recipe, say, hey, send me the recipe. Or you can, um, the link is in the description, or if you cannot find it, just go to eatingonadime.com and search Lazy Day Lasagna. Nothing wrong with being lazy with this recipe. People have gone crazy for this recipe. In fact, in fact um, our video is like over 100 million views. I mean, it's crazy. People love it because it's so good. So I have some Parmesan cheese. We're just going to sprinkle right on top. Now, another little fun tip, if you want that garlicky, delicious flavor, you could sprinkle a little garlic salt right on top before you start cooking it, and it kind of tastes like a garlic bread on top. Mm, so good. Ooh. Okay, we're going to add the lid, and we're going to cook this on low for about four hours. Then what I like to do um, is I unplug it and let it sit uncovered for about 10 to 15 minutes. So you know when you make a lasagna, when you pull it out of the oven, sometimes you're gonna find it's a little watery. So what, what you do is you just let it rest. So you're gonna let it finish cooking and you're gonna let it thicken up. And that's what you wanna do with the crock pot. So you cook it for about four hours until everything is heated through and the top looks delicious. And then you're gonna remove the lid, let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes and then cut it and serve it with your favorite garlic bread on eatingonadime.com. And a side salad and dinner is done. Guys, come on. Tell me that's not easy. Tell me that's not easy. Is it easy? Is it easy? Nobody? It's easy. Okay, lazy day lasagna, guys. Okay, so if you need the recipe, guys, go to eatingonadime.com or get the link in the description. But we also have a baked version. It's the exact same recipe, but you cook it in the oven in a 9 by 13 pan. So you can have lazy day lasagna in the crock pot or in the oven. Um, the kids go crazy for it. My kids love this recipe. They like it better than traditional lasagna. And honestly, I'm at the point now where I like it better than traditional lasagna. It's so good. Okay, that's it, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, go to eatingonadime.com to find this recipe. Just search Lazy Day Lasagna. And don't forget to search 
for garlic bread. So you can serve that alongside because that bread is amazing. Remember, the link is in the description to where you can get our crock pot version and our baked version. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time for another Eating on a Dime show. Bye friends.